you find the release that says hood, you give it a tug, and now we can go inside to the closed. All right. There's always going to be another release right here. You find it, push it up. Okay. You're then going to take your booster pack. Okay. You can set it up like so. Always make sure that the booster pack is off before you connect the prongs. Your red one will go on first. The red is usually on the okay. right side. And your black, if for whatever reason you cannot find the red and the black color, positive is going to be red and black is going to be negative. So once they're connected, you're gonna turn your booster pack on, okay? It's on. And then you're gonna wait. You wait a good three, four, five minutes till it boosts the battery a little bit. Some of them you can do right away, but what ends up happening is you kill your own booster pack. Let it wait, let it charge a little bit. If it has to take all your power from your booster pack, what you're gonna do is you're just gonna fry your own battery. So let it charge the battery a little bit, and then go ahead and give it a turn. And you're gonna go into the car, turn it on. After you connect this and you've let it sit for a couple of minutes, what you wanna do is inform the driver of the vehicle to get into the car and give it a turn. Try to turn the car on. Now, nine out of 10 times, the car will start and then you'll let it sit for another two minutes or so. And then again, very important, you take the black off first, and then you take the red one off, turn off the machine, and then black, red, around, wrap it around, and click it here, because now it's not connected. It's not gonna hit anything. And again, same thing goes for here, down and around, and clip it to the plastic so that they don't zap each other. Many of these booster packs come with uh, LED lights on them for night jobs. It makes it a lot easier to see. And then you can close the hood.